Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Sebastian from Ingrato and this is the video number four of the series of how to make your own balaclava and after the last three videos I think we have to continue with the area of the eyes I just can see that because I just stopped at some point to uh, with all the um, increasing of the head so I think this is what this was the the last part I didn't have more um, remains of this yarn so I changed it to this brown orange brown yarn and yes I'm gonna show you now how to continue with this area here the area of the eyes that I think it's one of the most important important part of the of the balaclava because right now only looks like a hat but now we can we are gonna continue with this area and in the next video the last video I'm gonna show you how to do the mouth because I want to make this series in different parts but very focused in one part of the of the head so yes this is what are we gonna do today thank you for watching my videos and if you have any comment till now from the last videos please let me know please uh, tell me what do you think how it's your project going i'm always looking at your comments so yes let's go for this i um for the, this area of the face right now hello everybody let's start once again with this stage of the process uh, now it's not gonna be that complicated as before because the only thing we need to do right now is just stop crocheting in this part we are gonna just close this with one chain at the end we're gonna cut this part this is the way I start the the eyes this area Maybe someone else knows another kind of technique, but I'm sharing with you how I usually work with this. So we are gonna measure this with our head. In this case, I'm gonna measure this with this head. So this is the left side of your head because we are gonna follow the stitches are going in the same direction of before um, so we are gonna start for the left side here is the end of the eye so we shall start with our stitches here we are gonna introduce our crochet there put our yarn make one stitch and start with three chains here So here, this is the top of the head, I'm gonna take out our friend from here for a moment and what are we gonna do is start making double crochet stitches in all this uh, row. Okay, this is the way to um, to make like it's not this area it's some kind of pause where your eyes are gonna be so that's why it's so important to know where the eye start because that pause 
that place where we are not making stitches right now is the place where you are gonna put your eyes <laughs> right so it's very important to do every single stitch here I'm doing it really fast to make the video um, realistic of course takes time maybe you are gonna take your own time to make the stitches I don't like to make the video too fast either because we need to be uh, patient and realistic this technique takes a long time so makes more sense if I show you how long it takes um, that's my way to think about creating handmade pieces or I don't know for me it's very important to be aware of how long it's gonna take every stage of the process I received like a really good feedback from a friend saying like you should be faster and show the process in a way that uh, you can absorb all the information really really fast and not think about like these kind of conversations these kind of talks but it's quite weird for me to say like yeah well i'm gonna make it faster if finally it's not my main goal here i want to show you uh, the complete technique and how long it takes to make these stages so we are almost done with this part i'm doing all the crocheting of this stage um, and we can measure no not yet uh, i'm making i don't know if i love the combination of colors right now but for me it's okay to work with remains and right now it's that's what what i'm doing I'm using just remains and tiny balls of, of wool and yarn to to finish and make my projects because I'm not I don't have that much materials lately I don't want to buy new materials uh, so if you're in Berlin and you have remains or rest of wool or materials you don't want, please let me know. I will be super happy to use your yarns and work with them and make my own projects. But for the moment, I don't have like new materials to show or to talk about it. So, okay, this is quite uh, okay for now let's measure the eyes so we have to end just next to the you can have some kind of error I'm gonna give some extra like maybe one more stitch here and then I start with the ne next row but for now I think this is quite quite okay so uh, this stage is very easy you just need to be careful with how many how much uh, are you crocheting so now at the end of this part uh, we are just gonna close this with one chain and cut this once again there is another ways to make this part but honestly I like to work in the same direction always that's why here once again we are gonna start our stitches our crochet stitches in this part again because we are gonna make two or three if it's necessary that depends of your of your face but here in the main corner or beginning of this part we are gonna put our stitch then we are gonna need two or 
are three chains and then we are gonna start crocheting with the double crochet stitch as before all this row completely so I'm gonna make it this as fast as I can but as I explained you before um, this is how I like to work it's the direction I like to make it because all the um, textile the piece finally have some kind of direction right we were always knitting okay oh, sorry crocheting in the same direction from here till here so that's why I like to work from to the left and yeah to the left uh, well you are gonna always need uh, to the left if you are right hand I think I never experienced a crochet with a left hand person but probably it's in the other direction so yes that's the, that depends of how how do you want or how do you have to make your crochet your crochet stitches so here I'm in almost in the middle of this part by the way thank you very much for watching till this part of the process I'm super glad of all the people watching this video and supporting commenting and telling me like hey we want to learn more about how to make horns or or balaclava so I think this is the very base of of everything um, thank you very much all of you to for all your words and I'm gonna continue I really want to make this YouTube channel uh, uh, something big for my daily life I would like to become like a person that can um, survive with this kind of uh, works and and making videos is pretty fun for me right now I'm really having fun with all this process so yes thank you so here we are at the end of this part and here is where everything is gonna be very very um, interesting because we have to recreate the eyes like the area uh, for the eyes right because we did this pause to start crocheting uh, suddenly in the sides of the mask so now I'm gonna show you with our friend here I usually use two for every balaclava or for the balaclavas with eyes for sure but, but this one for example here I think it's quite enough it's very difficult in this way but I can explain you with two rows of uh, double crochet stitch is enough definitely and now what are we gonna do is we have to create enough chains that goes from here to here to recreate these stitches we pause we didn't crochet so we are gonna do that now and for that we have to make we have to count here how many we stop crocheting right so here is like one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So in my case, I have to make 
14 chains, right? To complement that part that was uh, stopped in the process. I hope I'm not talking too low, maybe I'm doing it, but it's okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then with the last chain of this, you are gonna connect your crochet uh, here. We are gonna make another stitch that connects this long chain with the with the beginning of all this process so here is where your eyes are gonna be right so I usually what I do here is I close this part and uh, I cut this and then I restart from the back, from the area we stop here. We stop in this part to connect these uh, crochet chains here. So I'm gonna start from the middle of the back because in that way I can hide uh, all these um, tiny little yarns around. It's more easy when you hide everything in the back so I'm gonna do this now all this part and then I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks because in that way we can continue with the separation of this area so I just again <laughs> I just realized that this part is okay we are gonna do all these double crochet stitches around but this part it I'm gonna show you how to make it because it can be a little bit tricky uh, because we have to make like more stitches here inside of these chains so probably it's nice to see how to do it. I usually take them from the uh, down, like from this tiny hole that is in the, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but I'm gonna just go and show you where it is. Well, you, can, you will find it anyway, but this looks like some kind of, um, yeah, it's a chain specifically, and there in the middle, you can you are gonna see like, like some kind of hole there. Like here, it's pretty difficult to show in camera. But let's see like, okay, you have a upper part and the down part the bottom of the of the chain so go there with your crochet to the down and make stitches double crochet stitches in every single um, chain so we did 14 so in this case I'm making 14 because I'm following the quantity of, of this part I'm gonna just show you how to, it's, I'm gonna take a little bit of time of this because you need to be very careful, just try to be aware of every single stitch in this part because otherwise it's gonna look irregular at the end. If, you, if that's your idea to make it like irregular it's okay too but if you wanted to make it like very organized and clean for the first time, you need to be very careful with, with that part. So here we are. This is the way how to make it 
happen <laughs> and this is how it looks so I'm just gonna continue with the rest of the face and I'm gonna hide this one at the same time and now we can talk about how it's gonna look um, in the face and uh, you can just leave it like this like an open uh, rectangle is a rectangle or uh, we can make like two separate circles around or squares that depends of how do you want to make it look at the end because Usually, even if you are uh, making like a crochet uh, piece very organized, it's not that difficult to make it look the the uh, eyes or the mouth like a circle. It's uh, actually the most easy uh, way to make the shape looks like a like a circle. So here I am. I'm done with this part finally and I'm gonna show you how it looks in the head because in that way we can continue with the division of the eyes so look this is how our friend is gonna look with his mask go here of course it's gonna be more um, organized and it's gonna stay better in the head well we continue with this project but this is the idea for the moment right now we are gonna divide this part this part is super important to make like the balaclava looks like a balaclava like a mask so that's what are we gonna do now and this part is quite simple and mm, complicated too so let's do it i'm gonna i need more of this material if you have more of the yarn you are using don't cut this and use the another yarn you have to separate this I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use this blue just to show you that way I don't need to cut that I'm gonna check with my face yes it's quite okay probably a little tiny but no problem uh, so we did we have here 14 chains right so now we have to divide that chains in two so it's, it's seven that's perfect because a pair number is gonna make uh, our process way more easy if you don't have a pair number uh, you have to probably make just one uh, stitch in that area or three in this case we have a pair number uh, 14 so we are gonna count one two three four five six seven and these two here are gonna be our uh, division area so we are gonna take our crochet we are going into that part right gonna close this and we are gonna make two chains or three and then a double crochet stitch here so we have here two stitches right the one made by the chains because it's the first one on the double crochet stitch so it looks uh, it's almost the same object the same stitch sorry object what I'm talking about here two 
stitches and one double crochet stitch in this other corner division here I have to be honest like this part to divide the eyes took me so so long to understand but finally I did it and it's always a little bit messy to find, find it especially when you don't want to put the head in the into the camera <laughs> but yes it's quite difficult oh, there is. Okay. sorry okay now now we have two rows of two stitches to divide the eyes right now we are gonna get into the mask with these two without like uh, taking out the crochet and we are gonna count here where is the number seven or just go to into the middle like counting the in these stitches one two three four five six seven so here you have these two stitches that represent the seven and the number eight and that's the center of your mask you're gonna get in with your crochet to the number seven and then you're gonna knit that part just with a chain that pass through both and then the same here you're gonna get in with your crochet you're gonna take the other corner of these two double crochet stitches from before and take the yarn like this I don't know if it makes sense for you but this is like the only way to close this from the inside without like showing where are you closing right so make like for me it looks a little bit more clean and organized but I'm gonna show you once again it's pretty like just get into the crochet or into the stitch here with your crochet then to the other one to the corner of the of the other two that is the division and then you're gonna take yarn to the other side you don't have to make like any kind of a special stitch just close this and then close well you can go back in the video and check once again how to make it but this is how how it's gonna look at the end let me show you i'm gonna cut this because in that way it's gonna be more easy to show you the process come here friend this is how do you divide the eyes and how your mask is gonna look till now so this is enough for today it's gonna be uh, a little difficult probably for you to finish this part but please let me know if i can help you and send me your comments uh, in the box below and if i didn't explain myself properly just ask me like i'm trying to make this process uh, in the best way possible so yes thank you very much once again uh, and see you in the next and last video of our mask process that is gonna be this area the mouth so yes that's it for today have a nice week
know how to say bye bye. Uh -huh.